Hey guys, Nebraska Farm Boy here, and recently I've been wanting to get into more ground fighting. Um, I'm pretty good with my basic strikes. Um, I can do some knife fighting, some knife throwing, and all that great stuff, um, but I'm pretty bad at ground fighting. And the reason for that is, I don't really have a good training partner. I mean, I do, but I don't get together with him very often, so I don't really have much uh, chance to train ground fighting. Um, I guess I got my younger brother, and we do a little bit, but he's kind of small, um, and I could smash him accidentally. So today, I'm going to be making something I've never made before. It's a training dummy for ground fighting and even for up... Um, uh, strikes and stuff like that. I think it's going to be really cool and the point of today's video is I've got to make it 100% free from stuff that I can find around my farm. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be using is this length of old hose. It's got a busted uh, hole in it, several of them. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure for my arm and I'm going to measure down across so it goes down the center and then I'm going to measure down my leg until it gets to my foot. And then that will give me roughly the right length for what I'm planning to do here. So here's where we want to be. And we'll just make the other one the same length. All right, so here we have the skeleton of our dummy. These are going to be the legs, these are going to be the arms. And now I just need to give him some support. So what I'm gonna use is these uh, lengths of underground cable. Um, it's aluminum cable. Um, and I know that you guys might not have this stuff because I have access to this stuff for free because my dad's an electrician. And these are just uh, cutoffs from what he's done. But it's actually not too hard to get a hold of this stuff. Um, it doesn't have to be underground cable. It could be power line cable. It could be um, any kind of metal cable. It just needs to be somewhat stiff and yet somewhat flexible and hold its shape when bent. All right, so here we have it all kind of stiffened up. And I've got it so that it'll hopefully be somewhat solid. It'll kind of stand up straight. Um, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a pair of jeans, and I have a confession. I bought these jeans for $2.50 at a thrift store, so it wasn't entirely free, um, but you could just look for an old pair of jeans in your drawer, you'll probably find one. I just didn't happen to have one because I just got finished making a punching bag. Alright, so now what we need is some stuff to fill this bag with. And what I've got here is some old, uh, it's actually a tote that chicken feed comes in. And I'm just tearing it apart and make it, making it into this finer plastic fiber, if you will. Ideally, old clothes work best. I just didn't have that much old clothes to stuff in here. Um, so, we're going to be using this. Um, just anything that's somewhat that's gonna be somewhat soft, um, except for straw or hay or dirt. You don't want to use that. It's going to be dusty and just miserable. So I'm just gonna tear this up, and then we're gonna stuff him so that he, he gets some actual bulk to him.
So here is my friend, the dummy. Um, he's a little bit shorter than I had expected him to be. Um, we're sitting down right now, so he seems a little bit taller than me. Um, he doesn't like to sit very well. He also doesn't like to stand on his own, but if you lean him against the wall, he will stand. Um, I think that maybe if I would, were to do this again, I would do it with PVC instead of hose. Um, this will work. Um, it'll work for ground fighting. It'll work for um, for stuff like that. Maybe some basic takedowns. He's not heavy, so it's not like you're going to get the um, uh, what do you say? Uh, weight training and stuff like that. Um, you're still going to need a training partner no matter what you do with this thing. But he will give you some experience in um, doing different takedowns, holds, grappling, and chokes, and stuff like that. Um, and you can hit him too. Um, as you can see, he is a white um, uh, white male um, because all bad guys are white and they are male. Um, and they are also terrible people, just so you know. Um, if you ever see a white male, let me know because at run away he's a terrible person. Anyways, let's see if he can hold up to any amount of training work. So there you have it guys. He doesn't stand up like I was hoping he would, but he is really great for ground fighting and grappling and that's really all I needed him for anyways. Plus I can kind of uh, you know, support him with a pole, use him for demonstrations in future videos and all that great stuff. Um, but yeah, I really think that actually it's really a pretty good investment I think. To make this it only cost me $2.50 and a couple hours to make it. So, if you got the materials laying around, why not? I think they can really get you farther ahead in your ground fighting skills, um, especially when you're like me and you don't really have any. So, without any further ado, we will see you next time.